Hello, my precious water signs. How are you doing? I'm doing dandy. It's time for your shadow of judgment. Yay. Water signs, you're last. So we get to see whatever card comes out for you is for your week. I'm using the after tarot deck today because just because it's after Friday and I forgot. <laughs> I really did forget yesterday. That's because I kept saying that, like, oh, tomorrow's my Friday and today's Saturday. It's just like, oh, I totally fucked that up. But okay, it's fine. It's fine. The Emperor. Ooh, and you got a pet ram. He goes, bah. Or is that to go? One of the two. Either or. That's who you got. And that's who I cannot pick up. Let me tell you something. Playing guitar is a travesty when you don't have nails. Well, not really. You're not supposed to have nails. But, you know. Cancer, you're up first. I'm going to pull this back down here because I'm just destroying everything like Godzilla. Okay. You got the Hermit Ray here. And the Ten of Wands. Water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Check your charts, because this is for Sun, the Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This resonates with you a good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It's just a card game after all. Shit won't work if you don't believe in it. Maybe. Or it'll surprise you. One of the two. Just boop your nose and away we goes. Right? Right. So anyway, Cancer, once again. You got the Hermit and you got, like, the Ten of Wands. It's like the Hermit went inside to their, like, spiritual adventure. Their cane turned into a snake that is wisdom. The toxin is just like a GPS. Kind of makes them go in circles sometimes, but it's all for actual good reasons. You also got your spirit guide dog over there. You're going on a adventure in the mind because you're tired of carrying this burden around. You've been wanting your pour your cup out for whatever reason. Just let your emotions go. Is there something you've been carrying in that cup that's just kept you feeling like, mmm. There might have been a third party situation that just ended in a breakup, but the person still hasn't learned. He's still looking at bitches like, hey, I like you. Yeah, you're having to release all the emotions in the cup. And the can and you okay. Cancer. You are particular in dumping these cups. You wanna dump this cup that's full of the burden? And you want to dump your cup when it comes to secrets that someone has been treading to get to. Because that's your card, too. Along with Pisces. Someone's invading your privacy to find out your secrets, it seems like, this week. Um, justice needs to be had with this third-party motherfucker, right? And I think that's what's bothering you. Like, this person over here has a GPS and they're still fucking lost and getting mad at people because they don't have directions. This could also be you, Cancer, because that's your card as well. You were kind of flustered. You don't know what you're doing. You feel like this person, when they come for your secrets, is going to try to murder you? Have some words to say that are viciously going to cut you down? Here's Leo's card, and we just had a book pop up for you guys. Could be Capricorn, also Taurus or Virgo. She's very um, busy on what it is she's creating. But the thing is, she took like one, that one pentacle and left the rest to rot. Or someone took that from her, right? Um, the lizard that was supposed to be the start of a new beginning, this baby, someone didn't take care of it, and it's dead again. You know, they flopped their fish around when it came to their emotions. So someone just decided, you know, like, let's just dump the water and release the bird. Like, here's a peace sign, you know, peace. And now somebody's here who is all hell-bent on, like, getting whatever it was, being dissuaded by three other individuals from whatever mission they decided to take upon in order to get the information they originally wanted. All right, Cancer, you might be, you know, like going inside, probably going on a spiritual thing for yourself right now with the hermit like this. All of his tools and shit have changed into supernatural things. He's even got a dog now that's black, so I assume it's like a spiritual animal right there. And his cane is working as a snake to wisdom to lead him on the way, help him gain traction in the path that he's taking. Um, because somebody was, um, overindulgent in some vices or there was some cheating involved that calls for some justice. Like, something went wrong here, and now someone's clinging very tightly to their shadow side and vices, even though they shouldn't be, with the strength card. 
Um, Cancer, you're probably dumping your emotions out when it comes to these secrets because, like, you're afraid that someone's going to come cut you down. Or you feel like you want to cut somebody down because they invaded your privacy of sorts. Over here, though, you do want to lay this burden down when it comes to these emotions, but you don't know how or how to go about it. Literally looking at your GPS for directions, but you don't know how to work an iPhone. You've always had an Android. Okay, let's see. We got for you. Oh, Queen of Pentacles again. She's reversed. Overbearing mother, other unfaithful spouse. Someone was giving to her more than another person? Or she's mad because she was giving more than anybody else. Decided to take off to like booty call man status. Not offer anything traditional to you. And probably exerted a fucking betrayal on your ass. Empress, you know? Cancer? Like, this was somebody I feel like you trusted. And they trampled all over your trust once they started invading your personal boundaries. But now it's like you gotta, you kinda gotta look inside for that. I'm not sure who it is that's doing this that's making you feel like you gotta drain your cups up, but that kind of sucks, man. Like, I'm sorry to say that. But, that's your shadow this week, so be very careful. Somebody might be trying to pull some shade over your eye. You're gonna have to try to, like, actually look at things for as they are. You know, dump your cups out so you can really figure it out. I feel like that's the only way you're gonna get some burdens off of you. Might be a bug! Might be a bug. That just came up. Alright. Scorpio, what's going on for you? Ace Cups! Ooh, an egg bird. A bird of peace with an olive branch. Okay, so I'm totally taking this card as, like, someone didn't learn the lesson the first time. That's why the tower is getting zapped again. Like, the bodies are still fresh and dead and had to get hit again, just in case. Ugh. Yeah, someone didn't, someone didn't, uh, learn their lesson from the last time, it seems like. Scorpios. Whoever you're dealing with, like, you got, like, there's a new love offer, but someone isn't offering it. Um, with this tower, someone flopped their emotions again. Could have been you, could have been somebody else. But they were really emotionally quick to um, express them. And it just fucked all around their face. Uh, moon again. Hmm. Cancer or Pisces. I think someone went to pick a shitty ass pentacle for you. And they're approaching you with it, but it's like you pick up that there's something wrong with it. Like, it's supposed to be something loving, but it's it, instead it's almost like trash. Um, calling you in to waste your time a little bit more? Ah, uh, this person gets aggressive and wants to destroy everything and everybody. You gotta fight that shit off. It, I feel like you've already done this before, Scorpio. Yeah, you have. Yeah, you have. This is all about justice, dude. You two are fighting each other from different perspectives. This person feels like it's all or nothing. I'm going in and I'm going to win this fight. You're fighting, like, to the death with a monster. And, but both of you are looking at this like it's justified. On both sides. It's kind of crazy. Um, you are expected to love off of it instead because this person, like, snatched a fucky pentacle. You're getting shit in order to keep you from, um, being able to move forward with this severance of this love connection right here, which is what you're trying to do with the Nine of Swords, right? Fight it off just to kill it, because that's the most justified thing for you to do. You are picking up that's what they're doing with these secrets, and they come after you like this, right? The tower is trying again, because this shit's already happened, and someone flopped their fucking emotions around to the point where, like, the fish came out, and now they're wanting to fight. Very hostile-like, you know? Why is this tower getting struck twice for Scorpio? Okay. Third party situation. Dealing with you or a Scorpio or, or a Scorpio or a Pisces or a Cancer, right? 
offering you some horse shit and lies. And that's got you just like, oh, that's the truth? I don't think it is. I think you need to halt with that bullshit right there because that's not coming any further than what it is. You know, like you are at that crossroads right now. And you, I feel like, are done feeling all sad and shit. It's just nothing but a burden for you, and you are ready to move forward. You got your directions. It's time to fucking go, you know? Turn left here, you know? One of those things, Scorpio. That's what your week is entailing. Um, someone might be trying to come back to you, offering some bullshit, and you smell that shit. You know, like, you know that there's something wrong with what they're giving you. You just don't know what it is, and that's what's setting off your sensors to just be like, well, wait, where, where did you get this right here, y'all? Where, like, where did this come from? And as soon as you ask that question, boom, that's what sets them off, I feel like. Like, that's the one thing. It's like when you unto, it's like you get suspicious. Even though the Nine of Wands wasn't out here, it really should have been. You get suspicious just on your own because it's like you know. Like, I swear, you can't hide anything from a fucking Scorpio. They either get too curious to fig that they need to figure it out or they already know it before you do. That's just how Scorpios are. They just know shit. Whether you want them to or not. Like, they, they, like oh my god, they're just as nosy as Aquarius. <laughs> Alright. Pisces, death card came up for you, so who are you murdering this week? Mm. We got the lovers. Queen of Cups, reverse. The Queen of Swords, reverse. Yeah. The fucking Page, Pentacles, reverse, and the... Four of Pentacles. Okay, this right here is just like... This dude's trying to offer you something in a love thing, but he's treating you like a fucking gnome. Like, it don't matter. Like, I can just give this idiot anything that they want, and, like, they're not going to know the difference. You know? Like, bugging you when you're trying to rest up and shit at that point, too. And it's just like, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know I was doing that. You, you damn right you did. You're just acting like you didn't know. One of those things, right? Um... They're trying to knock on a closed door after you're trying to, like, vacate the premises. Probably go back home or back to where you belong, right? In order to build your own self up and, like, admire yourself in the far distant future. But this person treats you like a fucking gnome. Like, you'll just accept anything. Like, you don't know better. But they're all confused. Like, oh, it's a butterfly, you know? Like, they just look at it. Mind you, Pisces, you're all pissed off because it's a fish. A dead fish at that and a cup you've been holding this entire time. And you've been keeping it secure to the point where you think it's so fucking valuable. And now it's just like, so wait a minute. I thought, uh, like, I thought that this was a great thing, but instead it's like a dead fish. You've been having me take care of this dead fish like it's fucking precious, right? Like, now you're all confused and shit. You don't know what to cut out, and, but it's like you don't have any more excuses. And the person over here, they're just like, kind of like, yeah, it's shitty, but I got it just for you. You should appreciate that. As, as if that's like what the, the thought of it is supposed to be, right? So now you're ready to attack this shit and end it, right? Like, look at you. You're about to shoot the goddamn bird and just be like, you know what? I'm done with this energy. It's just, it's over. Nothing's changing. And I'm going to make sure that this shit's done. You're, you're literally aiming at the fucking bird, Pisces. Because you know it's a bug. You know it's a bait and switch. It's an infestation of sorts. Mm. Yeah, you, you already know what this is, Pisces. This person's offering you bullshit and then acting all like pissed off because you call out their bullshit. Acting like you should be nice just because they got their pet in there. Like, dude, what the fuck? You know, sitting there... Not really letting you know that they're getting, like, terrible ideas from some shit, or they're being protective, or there's an underlying layer, or thing that's, like, it, it giving them, like, props to say and shit, right? You're all confused with the Queen of Swords. Like, usually she'd be somebody who's, like, bitter and wants to cut people out, but she's got a butterfly, and she's just like, oh, I don't want to miss the swing, damn it. But it's like, you don't have any more excuses to miss. Like, you're getting infested with bugs. Like, it's a bait and switch, right? That's leading to a closed door that you want to escape from before it's too late. Uh, you're realizing you've been taking care of a fish to the point where, like, you've been protecting it to death, and now you're just like, I'm over this shit. I'm done. I am so fucking pissed. What's with this bug? 
It's like looking for a reason to stay. Yeah, someone wants to invest, infest your home in order to avoid a tower moment. But there's really no communication with this, and it's all based on arrogance. Based on a decision not to be unhappy. I feel like they're just wanting to infect your world with their disease, if you will. You gotta cut that shit out, brah. You got to, because it's gonna leave you in a loop. And you really just don't want to deal with this motherfucker, because you know they're not gonna help you with the leap either. So, get that in mind, Pisces. That's the end of the reading, y'all. So, um, if you guys enjoyed this reading, like, share, subscribe if that's what you want to do. It's all up to you, but I will see you guys later. Try to have a good week. Be careful, Pisces, because this person's not gonna be honest with you, okay? Okay. Bye-bye.